What if you could get 10 gigs in just 30 minutes? What if you could earn more money right now simply by not working? How do you do all of that? Well, the simple solution really is simple. It's the word simple. You got to keep everything simple. Actually, we're talking about simple things today and doing less is more. Why? Why is this so important? And why do people need to pay attention to this? Oh, 100%. And, you know, sometimes we get to a point where we just think, oh, I've got to do more. I've got to do more. I've got to book more gigs. I need to book more gigs. To book more gigs, I've got to do more work, more work, more work. And to just put this into my own perspective and open you up to something. Do you remember... Um, about a year ago, Aiden, very, very early doors of setting up TSM, the point where I was launching my virtual shows, doing virtual shows everywhere for everyone. I would say to you, yeah, another 16 hours of work today, absolutely crushing it, doing that puzzle. And it was great in my mind at the time. And then what happened from there, Aiden? I started getting very, very tired, exhausted, worn out. I lost track of absolutely everything and I didn't know what I was meant to be doing. I couldn't focus my attention on those specific key points within my business and my life overall because I was just now trapped in the state of doing everything for ridiculous hours a day. You don't need to do that because you're going to hit something which is called burnout and you hit that, you can't get any work done. You feel like utter I was going to say, uh, sorry, I shouldn't say on the podcast then, but you feel like, meh, <laughs> and no work's going to get done, and then that's going to ruin productivity, and then you're not going to be able to book those 10 gigs. You're not even going to be able to book them in half an hour, let alone in a week. Really simplifying your business is so useful. And what do we mean by that? I mean, I've simplified my business. I've really taken that right down to the core. What do I need to be doing each week to really push myself in the right direction and focus on... Those highest leverage things. What is the most important thing I can do to get the most results from? Okay, that's what I need to be doing. Not the designing a really fancy Instagram post and then putting that out and then also uh, redoing the website every single week. No, this is all pointless. It's the most important things. And you do that, you can reduce your time. What you said at the beginning there, Aiden, it, it seems like, oh yeah, come on, that's just a cool little intro. No, it's reality. You simplify your business to focus on the things that are most effective. You can book 10 gigs in 30 minutes. Heck, you could do more. But it starts with working on what works and really identifying that. Well, this is it at the end of the day. By simplifying everything and again by simplifying and 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 talking less is more like if you put more and let's put it in this perspective if i gave you a 100 dollar bill right now and asked you to go and buy something using only that 100 dollar bill you have one sale opportunity there you have one thing that you can buy and that's a nice big thing most likely however if I gave you 100 $1 bills and said, go and buy something using each of those. Now you've opened yourself up to 100 different things, but are those 100 things going to be really useful? Well, probably not, because they're going to be $1 things rather than the $100 things. So the, the point I'm try really trying to make here is that just because you've got all of this options, these options open, they're all there. You can do them all, which is the worst thing. I, I trick myself into doing this and I know other people do. I, I trick myself into thinking, oh, yeah, I can do all of these amazing things. And realistically, I'm doing them all at a mediocre or one dollar level rather than doubling down, combining everything that I've got, all of my resources and putting it into the one thing that works the most. And that could be funneling it all the way down and just saying right okay i'm going to stop paying for advertising completely and i'm just going to talk to more people because the truth is that's how it could work or it could be a case of i'm going to stop trying to go to all of these trade shows wedding fairs fancy events to go and try and get as many leads as possible and instead i'm just going to do one public show per quarter and really optimize that and make sure i can get 10 gigs in in a 30 minute public show like you can do that it's totally possible, but it has to come from that position of simplifying, streamlining based on what you want to do and what you're comfortable doing. Because burnout's a 
pain in the ass to say the least it will properly screw you over it screwed us over on several occasions like we get wiped out for burnout it's not just a quick oh yeah i'll be back on my feet over the weekend it's no it's a week long it, it killed us so really preventing that burnout and and actually taking time off as well this is this is something else that, that i don't think we talk about enough we we are advocates of it because we want to get get everybody in the entertainment world thriving and, and hustle free but actually taking time off what, what what do we mean by that ashley is that just sitting down with netflix or, or what no disney plus god god I hate no. disney plus i've got a feeling that you're going to slam those in a minute for certain reasons but actually taking time off to focus on ourselves and it's really important when you do this i i was speaking to um actually a couple of psychologists a few years ago about uh, taking time off from work and how people struggle to actually divide themselves even just in regular office work they get home and they're always thinking oh my gosh i forgot to do this oh my gosh i've got to do this tomorrow you've got to have that clear end and this is me time because if you've got all of those doubts in your mind you're still switched on and you're still in work mode it's going to cause stress anxiety and you're not going to have that active recovery time to really focus on yourself you know you should be prioritizing things like your brain, your memory, your health physically and mentally. You've got to be prioritizing this because then when that's optimized, you can show up a whole load better within work itself. You feel better mentally and physically so that you can really kind of focus and streamline your work, which in turn is realistically that's going to save you more time in and of itself. And now you're doing less work which means you've got more time to focus on yourself doing the things which you find fun, enjoyable. And you know, when we're talking about time off, this could be stuff like going on a walk, having fun, meditating, rock climbing, surfing. These are the types of things which are going to be so useful in time off. And why is rock climbing and surfing and all of these types of more doing activities, activities in general, why is that more useful than Netflix or Disney Plus, Aiden? Well, you see, there's a difference between active recovery and passive recovery, or passive time off, as we like to say. And essentially, active recovery is actually time off, but that is doing something. We're, we are active. We're helping our, our mind, our body. If we're meditating, we're helping our, our mind. If we're, uh, well, and relaxing the body, which again, might be getting rid of a ton of stress that's in there, or, or going for a walk, actually getting that energy and that blood flow, looking after your body. It's an active recovery protocol that's going to help you become the best and healthiest version of yourself so that you can actually show up to work and be more effective. And something that you were saying there, Ashley, about actually the amount of time working and that lot, the studies are actually showing that after about 30 to 35 hours your productivity even if you're looking after yourself and even if you're doing the time off and all of these fancy protocols and streamlining and less is more your productivity goes down really really rapidly after just that 30 to 35 hours and that's a big big shock so we've actually got to spend time looking at active recovery protocols whether that's the yoga that's the walking that's the meditating that's the the surfing heck patagonia uh, one of the big companies out there they have a literal rule which is quite simply let my people go surfing, which basically means that no matter where they are, if they're in the middle of a board meeting, they're doing a presentation, they're doing some general admin work, they're doing anything, the people of Patagonia are welcome to just stop and go surfing. Well, they do that for, for flow reasons, which is, again, ultimately an active recovery protocol that they go in there, but it helps them show up better. And passive time off, the Disney Plus, the Netflix is, that's just you sitting there just... just it's just on. It's not actually doing anything for your mind or body other than just beaming blue light at you and, and making your brain melt. Uh, it's probably not making your brain melt, but it's not active recovery nonetheless. Uh, so that's what we need to aim for, actually do it, doing stuff. And, you, and you'll feel better. Otherwise, you'll hit the burnout. And the problem with burnout is that it appears out of nowhere, doesn't it? it? It just It's one of those things that, yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And then you hit burnout and you realise that you've been tackling for for weeks or months the all of these things at that mediocre that one dollar level and you just then have the big realization of oh yeah probably shouldn't have done that meh can't do anything for now i'm gonna wait until i get better and then continue on the 100 one dollar bill approach rather than just doubling it down and going for that one approach that's it and you know what based on this Based on everything that we've said today, I'm going to set you guys, the listeners, a little challenge just for today. You know what that is? Something which you're going to reap the rewards from and you're going to notice a specific change after it's happened. And that, quite simply, is, heck, 
Don't do anything magic for 24 hours. No tricks, no business stuff. Nothing magic for 24 hours. Take a 24 hour break, switch off and go through active recovery, not just binging an entire Dracula series on Netflix or The Mandalorian on Disney Plus. Go through active recovery and switch off and you'll be able to go back to your work show up so much better and because of that productivity will be heightened so really you can then focus on doing less because you're doing more in a short amount of time that's it as easy as that don't do anything magic for 24 hours but the mandalorian's quite good though not in this 24 hours fair see you soon guys